All right, class, welcome to uh, 2.4. Uh, today we're going to be learning about subtracting integers, and this is the last set of notes for uh, Unit 2. Okay, don't forget to write your name and today's date right here. Okay, so we've already talked a lot about adding integers, whether they're positive or negative. And uh, ultimately, what's going to be best uh, for you guys is to be able to take statements like you see here and just sort of simplify them. So uh, I've got positive 5 plus positive 6. Now, um, by now, you should be comfortable with the idea that that really is just the same thing as 5 plus 6, which is 11. Um, and this other example here, we've got positive 7 plus negative 3. Well, if we take a positive and add a negative to it, then that's just the same as 7 minus 3, which is 4. So whenever we see um, adding a positive, that's just going to be like regular addition. Whereas when you add a negative, um, it actually reduces our overall number, and so that's basically just like subtraction. Okay, so um, we have our rules for addition. What happens when we subtract integers? We've got two situations. We're either going to subtract a positive number or we're going to subtract a negative. So we'll use these two examples. Okay, first off, uh, imagine that you have $100 in your bank account and then you go and buy yourself some new clothes for $40. How could you represent that with integers? Well, if you start with $100 in your bank account, then that would be like starting off with plus 100. Uh, you go and buy yourself some new clothes, so uh, you're going you're gonna to spend some of that money that's going to come out of your bank account, then that would be like a subtraction. And you're going to spend positive $40. So positive 100 minus positive 40. Well, this really can just simplify to 100 minus 40, which is... $60. Uh, no big surprise there. We subtracted a positive. It's just like the regular subtraction that you've been used to all along in math. Where things get a little bit strange is when we have to subtract negative integers. So let's look at this next example. Uh, <clears throat> imagine that you've spent so much money on clothes that you're now actually in debt. So your bank account is at negative $80. The bank is feeling generous and so they decide to remove $30 worth of your debt. How can we show that with integers? Well, if, you, uh, if your bank account is at negative $80, then uh, that means you're starting off at negative 80. Now, the bank is feeling gener so generous that they're going to remove $30 worth of debt. Now, that's probably never going to happen <laughs> by a real bank, but just follow the example. If, if we remove $30 worth of your debt, then that means we're taking something away, but what we're taking away is negative uh, thirty dollars because we're taking away a debt well if we're taking away a debt then uh, the final answer here shouldn't surprise you that really if you start with eighty dollars of debt and somebody takes away thirty dollars of debt then you're gonna end up at minus fifty dollars which is actually kind of an improvement in your situation overall so what that leads us to believe here is that these two negative signs the fact that we have two negatives actually kind of cancel out and this statement would be the same as saying negative 80 plus 30 right that would get us the same answer of negative 50 dollars so um notice that that's the same as just adding plus 30. so let's do a little uh summary here of our, of our adding and subtracting rules so if we uh, are adding a positive, adding a positive, this is like the normal addition that you've been used to all along. So for example, positive five plus positive three. Really, we could just simplify that and say, well, that's just five plus three. That's just regular addition. Um, but what if we add a negative? So adding a negative. Take, for example, uh, positive 6, and we're going to add to that negative 4. Well, positive 6 plus negative 4, that could simplify to 6 minus 4. So really, that's like a subtraction. If you're adding a negative to something, then it's becoming less. Okay, well, what if we're subtracting a positive? 
subtract a positive. So something like uh, positive 7 minus positive 2. Well, if you're subtracting a positive number, that would simplify to just be 7 minus 2. And again, that's just like the subtraction that you're used to. And this last one, this is kind of the weird one, and it's subtracting a negative. Subtract a negative. So, for example, take uh, 5 or positive 5 minus negative 4. Well, minusing a negative ends up being like a positive. So that would be 5 plus 4. And overall, this is really like an addition. It's odd to think, but taking away a negative is basically the same as adding on. So what you'll sort of notice here is that these two are similar. Adding a negative or subtracting a positive give you a similar result. And along the same lines, adding a positive or subtracting a negative are also similar. Alright, that's it for 2.4.